Hello, welcome to this new host of our video. My name's Alex. Today we're going to be looking at firmware caching for Unify Network. So Unify Network, you can cache firmware if you've got a large deployment, um, you've got a lot of access points and switches. You can store the firmware in the Unify application rather than uh, downloading it from the internet. However, how does that apply to Hostify? Because Hostify itself is hosted in the, on the internet, so uh, externally to your uh, home network or business network. So first of all, firmware caching allows you to store any firmware for any Unify devices, such as AP, switches and gateways. And if you've got a local uh, controller, it might be beneficial to enable this on your on your system. However, with Hostify, there's on paper, there's not much benefit into enabling it, um, as our servers are cloud-based. Um, however, we run on Vulture, and Vulture has a very um, global footprint in terms of servers and locations, and it might actually provide some speed benefits over um, downloading it from Ubiquiti directly. Um, so we're going to look at how to enable firmware caching on Unify, and then in the new GUI and the old GUI, and then also um, about custom upgrades as well. So. I've got my Unify network application open here now. Um, it's got the uh, new GUI currently. So to enable firmware caching, you go to you go to settings, and then system, and then scroll down to updates. There's a section here called device update cache. Uh, you book to also describe this as um, a way for a way to update devices that don't have access to the internet, but that doesn't really apply to hostified um, systems. Uh, you can see here they've got available updates. I've only got three devices on my Hostify controller. I can then cache cache a firmware and it will, it's cached. It'll tell you how big it is as well. Uh, it's now downloading that version and then for the UXD Pro as well. And then I can look at my cached updates and see I've got these versions cached and then um, it's an easy way to get things updated. The UXD Pro firmware here is 20, 240 megabytes. So for the legacy GUI, uh, you go to advanced and then legacy. That would deactivate the the GUI. Got my three devices here here as well. Let's go to settings and then go down to maintenance. And then you can see here I've got um, these devices, or you can even do all known devices. So if you're planning on adopting a load of different devices, you could just cache the firmware uh, manually and then um, make things a lot easier when you come to update them. So I've got the same three cached updates for I did in the previous version of the GUI, and I can delete these and then update them if I need to, so it should make things a bit easier. However, in our blog post as well, we do mention that custom upgrades do not appear for caching, so if you manually update a UXD Pro or something from a URL given from Ubiquiti, those firmwares will not be cached in the server. It's only for um, the actual release candidates or the general general availability versions. Okay, thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex. If you want to learn any more about Hostify, go to hostify.com. Link will be in the video description below. Uh, the link to this blog post will be in the description as well. Also, now we have Postify Pro, our network consulting service, and we can also help with any WISP applications or ISP um, queries. So um, our team is ready to, to help you with that. Okay, thank you for watching.